Hello everybody, a very warm welcome to the session of SAP wherein we learn how to customize the local layout of your SAP. Uh, see, it depends. Uh, there are certain colors that might be soothing. That there could be certain colors that might not be soothing to your eyes. Uh, according to the individual taste, they like uh, to have uh, the screen appearances or the user interface appearances in front of them. So even SAP has provided that how you can customize your local layout. So let's see the same thing in this uh, session. How we can do that? Uh, for that, the uh, this is uh, the option button. Now here, if you look at this is the customize uh, customization. You can see here options. Now if I look at it, this is like customize local layout. The shortcut key would be Alt F12. Uh, if you want to go by directly, just click on this and then click on options. Now here you can see that it straight away opens up on certain tabs we have here, like visual design, interaction design, accessibility and scripting, multilingual settings, local data, phrases security system information and all so here you can uh, customize the local layout according to your own wish so here if i would like to go and change the visual design here you can see that we have theme preview and settings now currently i am in sap signature theme so if i would like to change it i'll just click on this and you can see here the preview of the theme is appearing now if i would like to change the theme just click on this drop down and you can see here there are a lot many so let's see what will be that enjoy theme. Now here you can see that it is actually a combination of your blue and gray. So if you like it, probably you can select it. If not, you can go for the next one that is a system dependent. You can see here again, there are three different uh, layouts. Uh, it's about the SAP uh, GUI. I mean, you know, it uses a theme suggested by the connected SAP system as a default. Otherwise is streamlined theme streamline theme is something like here you can see that the complete blue design is basically you know very very soothing and especially one of my favorites too uh, trade show now here you can see and the classic theme the ultimate classic theme which is like complete gray this was like initial sap how it used to be now sap is advanced and you know even the uh, look and feel has changed so if you look at enjoy theme is there something like far more better uh, what i like the most currently uh, and i like the signature theme itself so it depends on you how you'd like to change it and uh, the second one is the font settings so if in case you'd like to make some changes uh, changes to the font settings you can always click on font settings you can see here it's like korea new 11. so if you'd like to change this fonts then what you need to do is just click on the icon next to it and whatever the font you'd like you can select accordingly uh, along with the font style and the font size and then say okay if at all you're not very happy with all of these you can always click on restore defaults so it'll automatically go for the default settings now in many of the organizations it might happen that you know they would always go for system dependent theme system dependent theme in the sense uh this is something like a at that point of time whenever you're connecting in your own uh, landscape whatever the theme would be uh, picked up by the company that theme would be automatically applicable to you now here uh, if in case you would like to go and change his colors and all you can always do that or else if in case you'd like to go for multilingual settings or the local data the history clear cache and all all those things you can do it here um, Apart from that, you know, feel free. You can always uh, click on all these and then you can check that how they're impacting. And there's nothing else because everything, whatever you do in SAP, everything is reversible. So there's a good news. Um, apart from that, uh, the most important thing is that if in case you are doing anything of this sort, um, you need to close, you need to log out of your SAP GUI. You need to close your GUI and then when you open up, then only the new theme and the font settings, all those things would be applicable. All right, so happy experimenting with SAP. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks for watching this. And if in case you do like it, please do subscribe uh, to my channel, wherein I would be updating many more SAP related videos. Thank you for watching.